Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the story behind the picture and we're also going to add a twist and we're going to talk about Hasselblad. Yes, Hasselblad took this picture and this picture. So let me talk to you about Hasselblad. Now this Hasselblad here is a modular system. It's a film camera which means that the back comes off to add whatever film you want on it and you put it onto the back of this wonderful little box. Now the little box here you put a lens on and you got yourself a camera. Everything is pretty manual. Uh, exposure, speed, all that kind of stuff. You have to understand a little bit about how to take a picture of the right exposure at the right speed. The beauty of these cameras, other than being modular, is they're extremely reliable the other wonderful thing that I think is great about them is you can gaze down into the camera and look through just where the mirror is and there's no prism. Just gaze down and it gives you a different perspective as to what's holding it up to your eye. Gazing down with no prism means that left is right and right is left. So when you're doing a photo shoot and you're directing models, you better understand that you better point left and right because when you start telling left and right, looking through here, you'll get it wrong and they won't move left to right. It's the Rolls-Royce cameras, but it's manual. As you can see, you have to wind it on with using that little crank. This lens is a 150. It's great for portraits and great for catalog stuff. As you can see in this picture right here, looks fabulous. Nice big size frame. So you get great detail on all your images. And I use this for all my posters, catalog, and calendar work when I was shooting film. Now this Hasselblad is the ELM, which has a motor on the bottom of it. It also has batteries inside, so it's self-contained. So you could take this on location and shoot. Uh, reason I liked it is because I would have it in the studio and my assistants were able to plug in a power supply to it so I could work all day long shooting without having to crank the film on which gets to be tedious after, uh, you know, about 50 or 60 rolls. That's a lot of winding. So to have a motor on the bottom and keep advancing the film was a really great thing for me to have. Now, the beauty of being modular like this means that you can have different films in different backs. Uh, there's a 220 back, a 645 back, and this back is a 120. So what I would do is on a catalog shoot where I was shooting a lot of film, I would have one back that I periodically put on to the back of the camera during the course of the shoot during the day. And that would be the test roll. And what we would do then is we would take the test roll, we would develop it. And if everything looked good, color-wise and exposure-wise, we would then develop all the rest of the film. Now I've seen film invoices bigger than my day rate. That's a lot of money spending on film. And when we switched to digital, we saved our clients hundreds if not thousands of dollars in film costs by going digital and not using film. Now we also had to buy new cameras, digital cameras, and we had to buy computers and all the software that goes with it. Did any of our clients say thank you for saving the money? No they didn't. Not one of them said thank you. Some of us that were smart enough decided, ah, what we do is we charge for post-production. So that's what I'm telling you. Charge your clients for post-production. Take those raw files when you tweak them into the computer and you do things to them, that's post-production. That's outside of you being a photographer shooting those pictures. So put it into your bill or tell your client that there's post-production fees, digital charges. Otherwise, you're selling yourself short. So make sure you do that. Now, if you like that story about Hasselblad, pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com and you can read my blog. I've got all kinds of interesting things on there and you can see some more fabulous photos like this one here shot with the Hasselblad, the Rolls-Royce of cameras. I shot that photo, that photo, and that photo with this camera. You can also download a PDF of some of the things that I've been doing and get some heads up. It might inspire you to do some of your own things. And uh, all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Oh, and follow me on Instagram, Andre Felix Photo.